Hey guys, this is Seth, Me Down For God. I'm going to make a video because I'm bored. And I've also got a question I was wanting to ask everybody's opinion on. Let's go out in the garage. As you can see, this is what I like to do for fun. RC 51 Honda, pretty good bike. This video is also for, you know, just motorcycle enthusiasts. I mean, uh, I really, really have gotten into these bikes over the last few years. Uh, do a lot of riding here close to home, do a lot of track day riding. Uh, it's just real fun to do. The bike for you bike enthusiasts, um, Let's see, it's a 2000 model, RC51. 2000 model, as you can see there. Um, it's got the Jardine RT1 aluminum slip-ons on it. I already had those on it when I bought it. Um, let's see, what else? I do have uh, the uh, PC3, the USB power commander on it. It's got the stock HRC Honda air filters in it because that's what everybody says to keep in them. They say not to put an aftermarket filter because the Honda ones are better, so that's what I've done. Um, I'm just now, the reason I've got it down, I'm putting titanium uh, disc bolts in the back and the rear brake disc. I'm putting a titanium axle nut on it. Um, titanium axle adjusters i don't know if you can see them there but doing little things to it uh changing my gearing out i had it geared a little bit too tight i was having to switch gears too much at the track so i'm uh yeah, i had a uh, 15 on the front and a 42 on the back i'm going to 15 41 on the back so i'm doing that right now uh shortening my chain on it to get the uh wheelbase a little bit shorter on it. I had to put two extra links in it because of this tall gear. And it made uh, my wheelbase a little bit too long for my liking and uh, it slowed the handling of the bike down a little bit. So I'm, that's one reason I'm doing this gearing change to get the, the uh, wheelbase back shorter so it'll turn quicker. It kind of slowed the turning down. But anyway, as you can see here, that's it. Uh, I run the Michelin power race tires uh to me they're the best tire on the market bar none i mean they're just i mean they're they're great uh pretty good bike i mean like i said i i had a cbr 900 before i had this one but uh and i thought it was the greatest bike in the world but but i, I really love this bike it takes a little bit getting used to the v-twin power but once you get used to them, you'll really love them. There you can see I got it up on the stand. That's a Lockhart Phillips front stand. I really, I really like the stand. Uh, rear stand, I have a, uh, let's see here. If I can get over the lawnmower, it's a power stand. So I actually, uh, I, I run a small motorcycle and uh, ATV repair shop. It's not here. I mean, this is at my house, but that's one of the stands I use down there. That's been a good stand. But, uh, oh, yeah. And I do. I've got the Scott's steering stabilizer. That really helps a lot, especially when you do track days and stuff because, you know, it'll the front end will get real light coming out of turns, and it'll try to head shake a little bit. Not real bad. Hondas are usually not, you know, too bad for being unstable, but it still helps. I've got the HRC reservoir covers as you can see uh that's about it oh and you can see there that if you can for you guys that have got the room that right there a blasting cabinet is one of the handiest things i have ever bought in my life i actually bought that when it's a uh, central pneumatic brand it comes from uh it's either harbor freight or northern one but uh, I bought that off a guy. This cabinet is almost brand new. 
or it was when I bought it. Well, you can't see it there very good, but it's almost brand new. And I, I, I caught a guy wanting to get rid of it. I bought it for $100. So, did pretty good on that. But that's really handy for when you're doing these little projects and you need to need to clean your bolts and stuff up. It really, really, really helps. And I've got, you can see over here, I've got a parts washer right there. But on most things, you know, if, as long as it can be blasted, I'd rather blast it. But anyway, one of the, the question that I was wanting to ask, get it back on me, especially the Christians. Well, I guess the Christians is who I was wanting to ask. A lot of Christians, especially on YouTube, will say that you can't do things like this and be a Christian. That if you do do them, you're not a Christian. And if you are a true Christian, a, you know, a Holy Ghost filled Christian, that you won't want to do things like this. What What are you guys' opinion on that? I mean, you know, I like doing this. This has been a hobby for me for a, for a, a while. And it's actually, I used to do, you know, I, uh, well, I'm, I was going to say for most of you guys that don't know me, I assume none of you guys know me, but there for a long time I had a real bad uh, drug habit. I had a, an Oxycontin habit, if any of you guys know what that is. I had about a $500 a day habit. I mean, I was really, really bad. Uh, almost lost everything I had, almost lost my business. And it was only by the grace of God that I, that I got through it. But he really pulled me out of it. And ever since then, I've really been into the bike thing real big. I mean, I still, you know, I don't miss church to go ride or anything like that. I mean, I, I don't take it that far. But it, it keeps me busy. It's something to do. And a lot of Christians, especially Christians on YouTube, will claim you can't do things like this, like I said. They'll claim that you shouldn't watch TV. And I kind of find that ironic because most of your people, I mean, you're guys that are saying you can't watch TV, but then they're on the Internet doing things. I mean, I don't, I think the Internet's potentially a lot more dangerous place than TV. But anyway, you know, they, I've heard some of them say that you couldn't watch sports. I mean, couldn't do anything. I mean, you know what? I've had too many good experiences from this motorcycle riding. I've met some of the nicest people. I've got to witness to people. I've just had a good experience with it, and I think God, you know, brought it to me. And I just want to see what you guys think about that. Uh, and if any of you got any questions, any of you bike guys about the bike, or, or any way, like I said, I'm also uh, work on these bikes for a living. Well, I do cars too, cars and motorcycles, but anybody got any questions for me? You know, about a bike or a car, you know, just let me know. I'll, I'll try to answer it. But I guess that's it. Uh, guys, I'll see you later. Thanks.